own like regional cultural identity. Hej allihop, varmt välkomna till HFV. Idag åker vi till Malmö för att se på Mesta Mästarnas hemmapremiär. Welcome back to HFV everyone. After taking you to two games in the Allsvenskan Premier Weekend, I decided to stay a bit longer in the country. So I should be home now, but the possibility came to document the standout fixture of round two in the Swedish top flight. We are traveling to Malmö to watch the record champions and record cup winners of Sweden. The visitors of Malmö FF will be Hamar Buhia from Stockholm. Deeply invested in Swedish football, this channel has dedicated playlists to these teams. Links in the description to see the collection of matchday documentaries. Malmö dominance on the pitch all over Sweden. They are title defenders, favorites to win the title again. The highest squad value, the most wealthy club in the country and they've owned their arena as well. Last 10 had to had five wins for the home, two for the away side. One of these Malmö Hammarby games was actually documented on this channel, namely the cup final 2022 where Malmö came out on top to lift the trophy after 33 years. If you're curious about how a title celebrating day looks like in Malmö, link for in the description is for you. Would you want to relive the scenes of Hammarby's supporter march to the league premier tune in to watch it via league 5. A name we need to mention regarding this fixture is the biggest Swede to play the game in the modern era Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Starting his career at MFF with 16 goals in 40 games he netted on 62 occasions in 122 games for the Swedish national team. In 2019 fall a statue of Zlatan was unveiled near Malmö stadium but was ruined less than two months later. The reason for that was that Zlatan became part owner of their opponent today Hamarbu EF to be precise, the company, which Zlatan owns the half of, owned 47%, so as far as I know, Zlatan has 23.5%. Malmö supporters obviously saw this as a betrayal. Zlatan also said that he wants to make Hammarby one of the biggest clubs in Scandinavia. And after several actions to cripple the statue, it was removed in early 2020. But before the whole of it was taken away, the nose of Zlatan disappeared. That by the supporters, of course. They even have a chant about it. Back to the game after running over North Shopping 5-1 away last week, Malmö have their home premiere today. They call it Almen Flag Dog public flag day which invites the supporters to take their homemade flags to the stadium to the standing section. It's their way to represent the individual contributions to a strong supporter community. That's it beforehand. Let's go. What we saw in the previous cut is Mölland, the gathering area of Malmö supporters. And there are a bit more uh, ultras on the square as usual. So I was told like three times in five minutes not to film and that's uh, definitely something to respect. But as always, Malmö supporters incredibly nice and uh, appreciative of the of the content. Got already some, some stickers and even uh, a scarf, which is a really great one to the collection. I'll show it uh, in the summary of the video. Since it's uh, Almen Flag Dog, we are going to drop by a supporter who said not that I don't do that every single time I'm in uh, Mama because because this is it's just on the other side. This is a store uh, independent from the club's official fan shop and it gives the possibility for supporters to uh, create their own banners, customized banners. Let's take a quick look around supporter who said and then uh, see how the whole Hema premiere of Malmö FF today unfolds. Here we are joined by a Malmö supporter. Tell us about your flag you're going to bring to the game today. This is um, a Skåne or Scanian flag, uh, which is the region that Malmö is located in here in the south. We use this a lot to like show our uh, separation from the rest of the league and the country and uh, like to our own like regional cultural identity. So yeah, I've made it and uh, Painted some stuff on it, like yeah, Malmo FF with our two stars and our founding year, 1910. It's pretty simple, but it's uh, gonna be really fun to fly the flag and uh, yeah, be at the game. Really looking forward to it. If someone comes here to uh, Almen Flag Dog for the first time, what would you tell him? What what will he experience? This is the first time I've made a flag. I've been here with my friends for the past three days. I tell them to expect uh, a lot of cool flags, a lot of creative, um, creative designs. I definitely recommend uh, trying to make your own. Uh, because as I said, it's been really fun. It's a really nice uh, like activity that brings a lot to the stand.
Here we go with the Zlatan statue related chant I told you about. There are some mild interactions between police and supporters which uh, might not stay mild for that much longer. The away section is definitely something we need to talk about because the allocation is totally new. What Mama used to have was the lower tier behind this goal, obviously on the opposite side from the Hemma Sto plus the home standing section. But now they have moved the away supporters to the corner to both tiers, which uh, I think is an excellent decision. Obviously they're behind uh, the net, but they cannot get stuff thrown on them from the upper tier. And being in a corner collects the noise a lot better in my opinion so definitely interesting to see how that's gonna go especially if we're gonna see any away limbs well let's see about those away limbs because the Malmö are a really strong side especially home but basically they are favorites in every single game in this league as well but what Malmö supporters do is that they have a TIFO of Mellan Möllevang Storiet and they will have the flags as well so it looks perfectly like the square is filled with the statue in the middle this is outstanding as mentioned for the ones watching Malmö for the first time or uh, a video about Malmö for the first time that's the square we were uh, before going to the stadium
We had to wait till the 34th minute for the expected to happen. Kesetelin clean one-on-one -on -one against the keeper. Amarbu's right side of the defense was left completely empty. They tried to attack on the left, lost the ball, and it led to this 100% chance, which Kesetelin, number one striker of Malmö, obviously won't miss. Here they come again. No, not this time. So they expected. Malmö, the record champions are in front. So we're at the half time 1 0 the Malmö FF, but it could be many, many more. If you're gonna create supporter culture documentaries, you're not necessarily going to the places where you see the best football, but where uh, the supporter effort is peak. But genuinely, what Malmö players performed in this first half was really pleasant to watch. They basically pressed Bayern totally to their goal. They, they didn't even let them start the play on both wings, but especially in the left wing with uh, Busanello and Nanasi, they, uh, they tried to attack and they were really effective. It led to a lot of chances. Bayern had barely any chances. The goal came from a sort of a defensive mistake on uh, on the left wing of Bayern, but it was really deserved because Malmö had so many chances. You saw the crossbar hit in the end of the first half as well. They could have scored three, four more goals they're really so dominant when it comes to the game itself just uh, ahead above every other team in this league uh, it will be interesting if it uh, if it carries on like that in the second half because uh, one nil doesn't represent the game credit to the Bayern supporters because uh, from the support which which these videos are all about from that point of view they were uh, really great looking at what happens on the pitch however Malmö is just I don't even know how to express they play like genuinely really really enjoyable football total dominance so uh, so maybe Bayern have some uh, some scraps to to feed their attack from in the second half if they can collect them and maybe use those chances but uh, otherwise hey they stand no chance in this game and it's it's almost frightening to look at how superior Malmö are Anyway, enough praise of Malmö. Let's start the second half. A short service announcement before we continue. Traveling to create football content is incredibly special, but it takes up a lot of time, effort and money. Please support my work by sending thanks below the video with an amount you choose or via the channel's Patreon page you see on screen and in the description. If you don't have the intention of sending money, please support HFV with a like, a share and a subscribe on the journey of creating educational football content. Thank you very much for your help and a special shout out to my hosts. If you're a teenager, you just ignore what I said and spend the amount on yourself, same what I did at your age. Don't forget to check out the channel's social media either. Let's carry on. Only three minutes into the second half, Malmö attack on the left side, Tahali collects it inside the box, crosses, and Kiesetelin finishes it for his second goal of the day. It carries on exactly from where it was left off in the end of the first half, 
with the crossbar hit. Now Malmö score again, double their lead. And Bayern have barely any chance to, to get this back now. They really have to improve a lot on basically all areas of the field. banter never stops that's one of the things we love the most about the supporter culture the chant now about Hamarby mocking them that they have only one 
Swedish championship title from 2001. Look at those Bayern supporters, they don't care. They enjoy their day. I mean, this is genuinely something outstanding, standing behind your team like that. Not caring at all after the final whistle. Just support your team after you lost even. I mean, this is what it's all about. Since I didn't include the pre-game table in the preview, you can see how it changed from round 1 to round 2. After winning their home premiere, Hamadri lost to Malmö, which was the expected outcome before the game. The Sky Blues are leading the table, of course, pretty strong start to the season from them, as expected. They left some space to Hamadri in the second half, but a 4-1, a 5-1 was easily in this game, to be honest. Very entertaining football from Malmö, both goals played out, both Ali's and Nanas's assist deserves an applause. Very smart decision from the club to put the away section in the corner it has proved today. Safety is first, of course, at the same time atmosphere-wise and by visuals it's pretty dope. So according to me, Elita Stadion has one of the best away sections in the league right now because of a simple decision. And oh my days, what a good use Hamarby supporters made of it, them bouncing on two tiers looks pretty sick. The news have hit after the game, the injury of Bayern centre-back Fredrik Winter, he's out for the rest of the season, which is a big, big problem for Bayern, huge blow. I received some presents from the Malmö supporters at Melland, these stickers and an ultra scarf here's a scarf it's pretty beautiful the blue stays on it which translates as the blues in scanian dialect which as far as i know is somewhat closer to danish than to swedish very cool all of these i appreciate it a lot thank you very much guys a pleasure to meet you and thank you for showing love to my work this sticker is particularly relevant lately because the relation between the police and supporters has been everything but healthy in recent weeks in sweden not getting into further details now i'm not the person to judge this but i really hope the clubs and the police can find a common ground regarding this issue which would allow the supporters to be passionate about their football club without facing repression. A pleasure to be back in Malmö after the Alsenskamp finale last year. Great to catch up with some friends. Also, when I decided to go, the game was already sold out. So since you guys are really supportive of the channel, that's how I could solve going to this game. So to that very person who uh, secured me the ticket, I want to say an extra thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed today's content. If so, join me on the channel's social media, all possibilities on screen. As always, I was AJ Free. I'll be back in Sweden quite soon. It's not already all which game is up next. Tack igen. Ses nästa gång. Ha det bra.